the line, ladies and gentlemen, I have Supernova Slum, a.k.a. OG Medicine, man. What up, dude? Wallace Warrior Salute. Man, it's uh, definitely a pleasure to have you on the program. Uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about your mission, a couple of your missions, you know, throughout um, our conversation here. But I would love to just go all the way back, you know, before um, you were who you are today. You're from Brooklyn, correct? Right. Cool, cool. Uh, talk to me about when you, you know, quote unquote, uh, you know, I guess jumped off the porch. Uh. You know, Brooklyn in the 90s, uh, you know, it, you know, my my first, uh, you know, dissension in the street, um, I was started out with uh, with the low lives. My set was a sportsman and, um, you know, that boosting and, and that whole situation and getting into that side of the game in the 90s in, in Brooklyn, that was pretty much where it was at. Um uh, around that time, uh, you know, a lot of the big bros uh, behind the wall, when a lot of us were boosting up, the, you know, um, they, you know, he had the the UB and, the, you know, United Blood Nation forming behind the walls, and that beef was uh, escalated with the Latin kings and the bloods. And uh, they started to spill in the streets. Uh, a lot of us, the younger cats, were still hustling and boosting, so we wasn't necessarily directly absorbed as of yet but we know a lot of that uh, eventually spilled over because a lot of the relatives again were behind the d wall so um you know my, my community where i'm from in crown heights specifically where I, where I was raised in crown heights uh at you know the, the, the original formation with with the bloods in the east coast in brooklyn specifically you know was around uh 60% of them was in, in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, in Crown Heights. You know I mean? So you had that, you had, you, of course, you still had the elements of the decepts and, the, and, and you know, and, and still lingering around. You had, you know, you had uh, stick, various stick up kid crews and a lot of boosting crews, but a lot of that got, again, got absorbed up in the uh, politics of what was happening and behind the G walls filling into the streets. For me, uh, it was dual because I actually have relatives from the West Coast, from L.A. With my family, I have family that are actually connected to uh, Athens Park, Bloods, um, and the Jungles. And on, on the red side, and I actually have, uh, you know, some cousins that are from Hoover Crips. Um, and some of them now have became um, Hoover Hoover criminals, you know what I'm saying, you know, mm -hmm. cut off, the, you know, the original Crip formation. But anyway... So I've, I've, I've already had that in my family. I would necessarily wasn't claiming that with them because the East Coast at the time, uh, when I would go visit, I visited my some, my family in South Central in the summers, you know, at least every other summer. So I was exposed to that through them, you know, through a lot of that conflict they had going on. Uh, when out in the East Coast, because we were so into the hustling and boosting and stuff, I, I was doing little things here and there about homies that were going in and out of jail and it was going on. I, I didn't pay any attention until it really hit out around late 94, 95. It started spilling in the street, you know. Um, so my advantage was the fact that I had relatives already from the West Coast and I was, you know, boots on the ground witnessing, you know, what's happening in my hood. You know what I'm saying? Everybody moved, moved from hustlers to banging. Um, like I said, you know, the, the Crips, we, don't, we didn't really hear too much about Crips in New York. Um, you heard about the um, some Harlem Crips, literally some Harlem Crips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that that were mainly in the hustling, but but not necessarily on a set trip. You know, with no bloods. You know what I'm saying? They were kind of. You heard about them loosely. Um, if you had any connections to homies in Jersey, you know a lot of that was still going on because a lot of the Jersey, unlike a lot of the East Coast homies at the time, a lot of the Jersey brothers were plugged in directly to direct sets out in the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? In New York was kind of more independent. Mm -hmm. But the conflict again initially happened with the Latin Kings in that, you know, and um and that 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 dealt for a while. I got absorbed in that. And um, you know, around ninety around the time I got absorbed in that conflict, you know, pretty much you know, I, I used to I used to come from school and I used to get jumped by the Latin Kings because my homies was bloods Damn. initially. Say I mean, all the time, like, like literally it was a weekly thing. We just be getting jumped by Latin King. So, you know, just because of that oppression, you know, and me being in the community I was from was predominantly blood. You know, I just got caught up in that whole struggle. You know what I'm saying? Not, not even necessarily trying to necessarily uh, 
rep the rep the uh the nation like that just because of the oppression. I just was tired of like his, you know, jumping homies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but but as I started to let my you know talk to my my partners and my family out in the West Coast about what was happening in the street, you know, they were real surprised about how that you know showed up in New York. And I remember um some of my uh elders told me initially, you know, a lot of them were already tapped in as Panther Cubs, they're already black conscious, even though they was, you know, affiliated with the streets. And they would be like, man, you gotta teach them knowledge yourself with this gang shit, man. You know, you gotta, you know, be on the original tent. If you know, if y'all got that in New York, you know, it's a different culture. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you know, y- y'all have a lot of uh, influence, you know what I'm saying, with the five percenters and this and that and that, you know, the, the nation of gods and earths and you know, the nation of Islam. So, you know, you should really you you, you should really hold brothers and sisters accountable to that that side of the knowledge. Around the same time, uh, you had the Million Man March happening. Um, and then that, you know, that pretty much, I remember when I went down there, I had a lot of the homies from my hood, and a lot of the homies that initially became Dom Moves was out there. We ran into some crip partners, you know what I'm saying, that we didn't even know they was, you know, some of them was from New York. They were linked in with some of the homies from the West. And automatically, we just bonded, you know, you know just because spirit of Million Man March. So you had homies, you know, uh, you had New York brothers that was repping Red and Blue, and that was the first time when I was in uh, D.C. that I saw so many Crip brothers claiming from New York. I never know they was even out there like that, mm. you know, besides the small Harlem Crips I knew was out there. But you, it was just love, though. You know, initially, it wasn't, it wasn't the blue and red thing happening, maybe because the spirit of the Million Man March. So, you know, I took that as an opportunity. Um, the camaraderie, you know, um, around the time that the, uh, the Rodney King thing popped off, the verdict, you know, and then and I I went to visit my family right a few a few months after they did the ninety two truce, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Around South Central, Watts, you know, Inglewood and, and so forth, Compton, right? Uh they actually started it started in Watts and it spread it across LA. But I was out there a few months after just looking it looked like a war zone. Everything was burned down. Yeah. But I remember um a lot of the uh family members, you know, they had these T shirts, you know, that, that with the rags tied together. And saying Crips and Bloods United, and you know, black, you know, had, and I was inspired told by that, you know, and um, and so when when we start to form up and around the, when I started seeing the spirit of the camaraderie, at the Million Man March of all the homies, how this gravitated, you know, on on some black power and empowerment shit that transcended hood politics, you know, that was the spirit that woke me up, you know. Besides, you know, again, I was like I said, like, you know, young, you claiming it based upon being oppressed by rivals, but then you know right in the midst of that that consciousness i'm realizing it's it's connected to a greater cause so i took that upon myself to pretty much um you know uh to make that be part of my my charge As the time goes by and the earth rotates We gon' fly high up to outer space And we would never fall down I'm one with the universe, call me the sound The bass booming in your speaker With the microphone I possess, it's a heater You better drop it, let go You can't touch my beats or my flow Nigga, Kevin Smith my name But not the director, we ain't the same, man I'm a pimp by nature Inside of me is a God the creator Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean. I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean. But working every day from nine to five in my thing. I feel like a trap. Too much, too much, too much, Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Too much, too much, too much, Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble. One by one, we start to subtract them. Separate facade from who really bought that action. Feel like I'm trapped in the room without a key. Full wall surrounding me, stripping my identity. Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive. Take away my culture and my nationality. Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. double standard to killing my folks. Like it don't even matter. And when we gather, disgusted by the charades. Bullets spray the crowd, target practice in the game. No accountability, so who bears the blame? They want to see us violent and justify the change. Back to how it used to be. Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel this heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time 
overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. Let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose when he smiles They don't really know what's under the surface I'm a product of pain, racism, and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all in my veins That shit is all in my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new, kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story that you've heard Hundreds of times Blah, blah, blah Wham, wham, wham Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumb asses they I miss. feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble That you know, I have family members from the West Coast. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn. I'm in the middle of the beginning swelling of blue and red in New York. You know what I mean? So I, I rather than just uh, and bloods, you know, kind of like the, the West Coast. Well, in the sub Southern California, bloods outnumber Crips. You know, ten to one in in the East Coast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because just because of the influence. So um, the bloods had a very powerful movement, and so I I immediately distinguished myself amongst the homies. Um, initially, right in 19, 1995, you know what I'm saying? Right after the main man march, I established Unified Hood Hill Hood. And, um, and it was real dangerous because, you know, this is when a lot of the homies were really spilling into the streets. Um, um, and, and, uh, they, by around about 2000 and 1997, about two years after the march, you start you see a lot of crip conflict. A lot of the crip homies started really, really, you know, multiplying in New York, you know? Um, so it was really dangerous at the time for me to really, um, you know, hold the blue and red flag together, you know, even though I, I was coming from the red side. Um, I felt there was a greater cause, you know, as b being Panther Cubs and being, you know, part of the original intent. I just felt that, uh, you know, New York, if, if we're going to actually take on this legacy that is, you know, really a dissension, you know, we, you know, because of who we are in New York, we should, we should distinguish um, our formation based upon knowledge itself and, and really, really transcend. So that was the 20 year fight. You know what I'm saying? I had many highs and lows with it, you know, blessing. I never got shot, stabbed or, you know, violated for repping the unity. I got a lot of respect. Although I did get red Crips always ran up on me. Always. I was always got caught slipping with a bunch of Crips, but always got caught slipping, passing out pamphlets. People knew me in New York for pamphlet passing out these yellow and orange pamphlets, you know, based upon the original intent original principles, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, of the Crips and Bloods. Just history that I that I caught, folklore and stuff that I learned from big homies and family members from the West Coast that would teach me, you know, different acronyms initially. Um, you know, of, and you could tell that, you know, you know, the original Young Brothers at the time, you know, they were still coming out of that Black Power Civil Rights Movement, you know what I mean? So some of the initial spirit of the Panther Cubs was still in the acronyms, you know, like, you know, Community Revolution and Progress, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, Community Independence, uh, pa uh, Panthers in Red Uniforms before bastardized itself to becoming Pimps in Red Uniforms, mm -hmm. rule, you know, um, you, you saw, you felt the original spirit, you know, and so I felt that it was, you know, as a Panther Cub and, 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 and being a warrior, I felt, man, we don't, we should be taking this type of tone, not only in New York, but nationwide, we, you know, we should, we should be an example, you know, from the South, from the West, Midwest, we should take this, you know, the camp, you know, still claim your hood and your set, but as far as the nations of the blue and red nations, they belong to the black family, you know? Um, and even if you go to Chicago with the folk nation and the people nation, the same spirit comes out of that civil rights, black, black power module, you know? So I've always felt the need to um, in, inspire and empower the homies back to the original intent, whether they represent the five, the six, the blue, or the red, east or the west side. My, my stance was always, you know, you know, we go through our rites of passage, we go through our, our adolescence of banging, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if we're able to survive and learn and have knowledge of self, 
we can still rep where we're from and claim where we're from, but we evolve and go from banging to building, you know? And there are examples of many, you know, Crips and Bloods from the West, wherever they may be from in this country, that were able to, you know, grow beyond banging and actually, you know, become, you know, businessmen, you know what I'm saying, and, and women, and and and, uh, and, and um, use that acumen to inspire your brothers and sisters legitly that was not selling dope, you know what I'm saying, to really be just themselves. And I, and I really wanted to highlight that, you know, we always highlight the, the heroes and sheroes of the dope world as far as coming from the gang side, but we never really highlight and celebrate brothers and sisters that made it up out of the bang into building that still represent their blue or red a five or six that actually have legitimized themselves. You know what I'm saying? That actually formed industries and, 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 you know, became mentors still have their foot in the hood and repping where they repping, but they, you know, they, they, they keep that Panther cub thing going on a really high level. So that, that has been my fuel. That's been my drive. That has been my stake in the, in the G community since the nineties. And I never let that flag go. She said she want to see the city bus She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blames instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we bout to go bout to The road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too When it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah
one of your videos that stood out to me, I may be butchering the title, so forgive me, but it's something along the lines of, are you a real crip or blood? And it was probably about 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago. You're right. That's yeah, right. yeah, about 10 years ago, one of your older ones. You had the uh, the dreads back then. The, the um, braids. Yeah, the braids. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Um, can I would love for you to kind of explain that to my audience, you know, because I, I, from what I understand in your mind, Crip and Blood started as something, and then somewhere along the line, it went a different route. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, the bottom line is this. I mean, you know, it, it, Crips, Bloods, Folk Nation, People Nation, these are all children of the Panthers, you know, directly or indirectly. <laughs> children of the Black Power Movement, okay? The vacuum and the lack of these men being able to transfer that militant spirit to these youngsters, you know what I'm saying? Who, who were hunted down by, you know what I'm saying, this, you know, the nation's elite government bodies, you know, mainly Jagger Hoover, you know, that, 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 those men were, were, were deprived an opportunity to cultivate their youngsters. Their youngsters not having those fathers and their uncles available to really cultivate them and pass on that, that black conscious militant power or, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, and warriorship left a vacuum. You know what I mean? So, you you know it, all of the hoods you you know we talk about on the West Coast you know Watts, Inglewood, Compton you know South Central and throughout just the suburbs you know what I'm saying in San Diego, all of those big homies that you know from sixty five to seventy two were were if not part of the US organization led by Karingo and them or Panthers. Period. That's mm -hmm. a fact. So if, if that's a fact, yep. so the fact is those the big homies of the ones that became you know various crip sets their big homies their mentors their uncles grandfathers and fathers were black militants you know what i'm saying so when i say you know the crips and bloods came out of that 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 black empowerment or that that original intent that's what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying or and if i go to the east coast aspect of it you know what i'm saying you know the U united blood nation from the blood side right the, the big homies of the bloods in behind the gangster wall the g wall you know what I'm saying? Was the nation of gods and earths? That that's a lot of the, a lot of the initial brothers that formed up and became bloods. You know, came up out of that <clears throat> not itself. So that's why a lot of the East Coast lingo with bloods is a little different from the West Coast because a lot of the East Coast lingo with the bloods, you know, peace, blood, or peace, Almighty. That's coming from the nation of gods and earths influence. Hmm. So when you when you when you start tracking the initial intent of how these formulations started. It always has some knowledge of self in it. It always has some empowerment. It always has trying to raise up over oppression in it. You know, whether you go from the Crip side, from the West side to the East side, or you, like I said, you go to Shy Town in the Midwest. All of the origins go back to a struggle in a moment initially where the young people were trying to find their voice in the civil rights and in, in, in the Black Power movement to do something. Unfortunately, because of lack of cultivation, you know what I'm saying, their conflicts got exasperated. And, and, and unmanaged, and then it became, you know, a, a, a death legacy. But what I what I do, I highlight the original uh, in blueprint, the original red print of, of 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 what brothers and sisters were initially trying to signal. And that's that that initial DNA is what I hold true to when I talk about unify the hood and heal the hood and, and, and using that spirit that a lot of times is overlooked. We 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 look into the death culture of the gangs. But we don't highlight, again, the building, the positive side of homies that were really, you know, they were young, but they were, they were trying to signal something greater, you know? And, and so what I do in a lot of comrades that I've come up with, you know, we, we highlight the action steps of holding the brothers and sisters accountable to a higher cause, a higher power, right? And so when that clip of the, are you a, are you a real blood and crip? I was, I was mainly talking about, you know, the true spirit, the true intent of any of these street organizations is to one, procure resources, you know, educate each other and protect the environment, you know? And if we can use those original tenants, you know what I'm saying, to hold each set, each tribe each accountable, then the nation of that tribe, right? You know, the various crypt sets that form the nation and the various blood sets that form the nation of the bloods and the crypts, they belong to the black race. So they, they, they're not in a vacuum by themselves. They're not some, aliens from another planet right but because we don't we don't necessarily hold these tenants in place we just we just out here wilding out and so when i was calling out 
um, in that particular video, I was in a room full of bangers. That happened to be in Jersey where that where I was coming, you know, coming out to speak to Hip Hop Summit. But you know, Jersey's known. Everybody know, you know, South Orange, you know, East Orange, South Orange. All that's, you know, that's that's Crips and Bloods. You know what I'm saying? And 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 some of the most powerful ones out here, you know, out here in Jersey. So, you know, I was I was the spirit allowed me to speak to that that warrior class, you know, and and to inspire them, you know, not to disrespect them, but to inspire them, use the ancestral tone to speak life back into them and that warrior tone so they can, you know, go back into their various sets and hoods and, and, and re-energize from banging to building. Because the depth culture ain't giving us nothing. But if we tap into the original formation, the original tenants, we can use those to continue the fellowship amongst the various tribes and the nations and the Gs, you know what I'm saying, to do something to actually be sustainable and transformable to these young brothers and sisters that are in the vacuum of white supremacy and the vacuum of oppression. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come my son, here you give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleeve, I'ma fold. But she said she loved me, she want to hug me, and she she's nervous, get told. And I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day We'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through Keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know You only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain Everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Be kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Yelling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing in memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate they came from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Catching you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listening to the night As long as you recognize the eyes and sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything 
gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay And your your clothing has a a blood flag stitched on the left side and crypt flag stitched on the right. Explain to people why you did that, the significance behind it. Well, well, traditionally, you know, the the right side is affiliated with the with the bloods, and the left side is is the crypts. Mm-hmm. So you trying to if the metaphysics is you know if if I'm on the right side and I'm so whooping, I want that I want that blue that true blue to be shining on my right. You know, if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm trued up on my left, I want that blood to pump through my left. You know, it's also representing the right brain, the right and left brain hemisphere. You know what I'm saying? The yin and the yang, the ma'at, the male and the female, saying the the polarities. So you know, your left is your right, your right is your left. You know what I'm saying? They all work in tandem for you. So you, you, even in the brain, you know, your right side of your body helps to function the left side. The left side of your body helps function the right. And so, you know, if if you got the warriors on the right side. And then, you know, their, their polar opposite or or, or complement would be the left side. If the homies on the left side, their complement and alignment in metaphysics would be on the right side. So I'm speaking. I'm not only. I'm not. My my clothes were not really a fashion statement. It was speaking to the inner mind. Mm-hmm. It was speaking to the conscious mind, to the spiritual mind of our brothers and sisters to to plant a seed of possibility to wake them up into from banging into building. Love that shit. Love that. Now, um, <clears throat> I would love to talk a little bit of hip hop with you, since I know that is something that you that is near to your heart as well. Right. Uh, specifically, I would like to talk about gangster rap, and to get even more specific, the first, you know, uh, I guess uh, conversation I want to have with you in regards to that is probably the biggest story in the past couple of years. Is a little rainbow-headed <laughs> kid from Brooklyn. Right. You know, obviously talking about Takashi Six Nine. Right. In hindsight, I would love to know your thoughts on that whole situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bottom line is this: I I know most of those brothers that got, uh, you know, caught up. You know, uh, uh, most of them are from my community. You know, they from my hood. You know, my, you know, my high school. You know, so a lot of those brothers, uh, like I know a lot of them, uh, basically in the movement. And a lot, you know, regardless of the, you know the gravity of the industry and the gravity of, you know, decisions that necessarily not uh conducive for them took them in another direction but i've actually some of those comrades that got caught up in that were really trying at when i was working with them in the streets mm. were really active a lot of those brothers you know were really active to support you know the unified hood of hood movement especially mm. killing amongst the dime moves the bloods so um yeah i know i know a lot a lot of those names very well you know in that without really blowing them up directly because of the situation, but I could definitely say, and I've spoken about this public, um, the the problem with that was um, 6 9 was the bag, right? He was the artist. Mm-hmm. And to me, I, you know, and I've, I've spoken to the homies about this, you know, he he was, he should have been in protected investment, you know? Um, but the, the problem was that the brothers did not understand, you know, they never had an opportunity to have a uh, an artist represent that particular set. The Nine Tray in, in New York is a very, very huge street organization or street set. Um, out of the very, it's a, it's a lot of East Coast sets, blood sets out here. Um, and you have a few West Coast blood sets out here, but the, they, the, East, Coast are the do- East Coast sets are the dominant. And Nine Tray specifically is a very huge one, you know, um, in the East Coast. And you know parts of the South too. So um, they never had an opportunity to have an artist like Six Nine come up out of it, and it was they never really prepared for that. Um, and let me let me camera B it real quick. When you look at Cardi B, Cardi B uh, claims uh, the Brims. Okay, they put out of mm-hmm. the Bronx, and, and the Brims. You know, whoever the leadership in the Brims, right? They were able to facilitate, okay, Cardi's our artist. This is how we're going to protect her. This is how we're going to stay out of Rico. And this is how we're going to sustain ourselves. You notice Cardi has never been in no Rico, no nothing. Every mm-hmm. Besides Star Brim, her little her homie girlfriend, you know, that was down with her. 
nobody else really got caught up in no drama, you know? And so every set doesn't, doesn't, this is why I talk about, you know, you know, accountability and, and influence and accountability that each one teach one, each one reach one, another 5% of the nation affirmation is that amongst the bloods is that the, the, the Brims had, you know, they studied the West Coast. They studied the Brims on the East Coast, studied the West Coast mm. and how the West Coast was able to be the best example of how you can come from the street, claim a set, avoid Rico and be very successful. All of those, all of your, all of those artists out in the West Coast were able to do that. You don't, you don't be hearing no Rico cases. It's amazing, you know? And so I don't think that the nine trade bloods were able to understand the responsibility of what it meant to have an artist like six, nine. And because he blew so fast, so powerfully, and it was so much money, it was millions of dollars generated amongst them. And the problem was the leadership in the street and behind the gangster wall, the G wall were not in unison. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so remember, you know, you, you have a street leadership, but you also have the jail leadership. Mm -hmm. Right. And a successful set is going to have an understanding in the flow between the streets and the gangster wall. Right. And if that transparency is not understood, then, then the, uh, the fight for power will ensue. What you saw in six nine situation was the fight for power. You know, uh, you know he 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 jumped from big homie to big homie through his whole career, through his whole time with them that year year and a half. He was dealing besides outside of Shadi, he was dealing with other big homies too. You know, and the big homies, if they're not all in line financially and and, and creating a business, then they're gonna create their own business with him accordingly. Feel me? Mm -hmm. So, and and mm -hmm. so what you saw yes now uh, also yep. these mm -hmm. brothers respectfully they didn't necessarily were not business savvy they were street dudes you know um and i'm talking respect I'm not saying they were not street dudes who didn't get money but i'm saying as far as how the industry goes and how to you know avoid getting rico they didn't know how to legitimize how they dealt with six nine you know and so what that means is let's say six nine is our artist on the phone me you and your homie right if if you if you and your if you and your homie got homies that's still shooting and killing and wilding and selling dope, right? And six nine goes from me to you to your homie, right? And we're being all watched by the feds. We we it's a wrap. You feel me? So mm -hmm. so you had a lot of these brothers were already being watched by the by the authorities for some time. A lot of these brothers were you know rock you know rock stars superstars in the city as far as the street light you know coming from that set. A lot of those brothers had a lot of influence in the street. And they were already being watched. They already had open cases. You know what I'm saying? So in the midst of all of this happening in the leadership, 6 9 comes and generates millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Like he was the biggest thing out of New York. Yeah. So so you have four or five different big homies all, I'm not even talking about behind the G-Wall, just in the street, have a different way of how they think the money should you know what I mean, be, be dealt with. And since they don't agree how the money should be dealt with and how to legit and how to effectively legitimize themselves, right? Because there's no unity. Now you see six nine, he represents a specific set with no leadership of how to organize the funds. Mm -hmm. So the feds are watching the money move, right? So if you have five different big homies, mm -hmm. let's say they stay have initial legitimate intentions, but let's mm -hmm. say I give you 10 stacks, thinking you're gonna go be a t do, do you and your man gonna do t-shirts. You take that 10 stacks, the feds is watching that 10 stacks. Mm -hmm. You take, you don't do t-shirts, you flip that into some into some dope. You flip that into some guns. So they so all they kept doing is watch the money, they, they watching the money. Mm -hmm. Right? And they're watching the conflict. Feel me? Yep. So there's no unity. The money's moving all types of recklessly. <sighs> and all they're doing is building a case. Right? So so I and long, I'm a little long-winded, part my stuff. I love myself. it, homie. This is my but, favorite but, type but, of interview. My, 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 my bottom, yeah, beloved. My bottom line to y'all is that was a situation respectfully because I have nothing but love for those those brothers who got caught up. Ultimately, I have love, love for them, but but my problem with them and a lot of the the leadership in New York is that we don't hold collectively each other accountable. Mm. To like I say, go from banging to building. That was all since the '90s. That was my vision. How, how can we? 
all come through our rights of passage in the street, but ultimately become formed from boys to men. You know what I mean? How can we create a better bridge so that YGs can actually develop and not repeat some of the same cycles? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my vision went from Unified Hood and Hood in the, in the 90s. My, my dream one day, by the time we got to a Takashi situation, wh- where would have been where Shadi and all the other names, you know, leadership would have been more on a unified front, legitimately wise, right? Where they were able to break bread, protect their artists, protect their interests. Even if homies in the street still were doing street stuff, they would have had a legacy going, right? That would have put them in the in the realm of success and not still caught up in the street shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what happened. It was a mismanagement of leadership. It was it was it, that's what happens when you when you don't have the elders or the OGs on the same page. You have a, you have you've been blessed with the biggest cash cow you can imagine, and and nobody's taking nobody's taking leadership to bring everybody together on the same page. And that's that's this what happened. You know, it, it it just it's very sad. Six nine was not protected. Ultimately, he wasn't. You know, um, various big homies before six nine even appeared, they had issues with each other. I'm not saying nothing new. This is this is if you from the blood flow up in New York, you know that. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brush her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him but I lied Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo, I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the little Honey Jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man it's Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out. Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play the skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion Oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion Oh slow motion
issues with each other. I'm not saying nothing new. This is this is if you from the blood flow up in New York, you know that. You know, a lot of those again, I'm saying respect, a lot of those brothers had they were still part of the same set, you know, but they but they, a lot of them had their I want to talk to you about before we leave is uh you know, a lot of our people, and when I say our people, I'm talking black and Latino, we eat so unhealthy. And, you know, for us, it goes back to when we were first brought here. I mean, they were giving us the BS and feeding it to us, the pig intestines and all that shit. But um, you have another mission that is very close to your heart. Um, talk to me about your book. Uh, your book did eventually come out, correct? The Remedy? The Remedy, yeah, it's been out. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Talk to me about that and, and um, you know, just your, your kind of mission to make us a little bit more healthy. And feel free to go on as long as you want, man. Well, yeah, I'm, I, you know, again, my, we, you know, early on, you know, I knew that, you know, Unify the Hood could not be complete without healing the hood, you know, because a lot of these brothers that we're talking about stopping the gang violence, you, coming together to work together to be more productive, a lot of them are exposed to health disparities, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, uh, heart attacks, you know, a lot of these young brothers and sisters have extreme health disparities. So uh, the warriors are sick, basically, and that's where the Heal the Hood component came from. Um, I was born and raised vegan from the womb. I'm the eldest son of um, world-renowned holistic wellness practitioner, Queen of Fua. So I was I was raised in the environment of health and wellness, even though I had my, you know, my deviation into the street life, like a lot of brothers and sisters who, you know, who are raised in my, our type of communities. You know, we kind of deviate, but, you know, you, you, you bump your head, you learn some stuff, and you, you activate your knowledge yourself, and you grow. And so in my growth and development, you know, I wanted to always contribute uh, – you know, inspiration around health and wellness and self accountability to brothers and sisters to live a better quality of life. And so, if we talk about ending gun violence and we talk about, you know, um, uh, changing the environment so brothers and sisters can thrive, we have to also change the internal environment, you know, how they see themselves, how they're operating with themselves and in their cells, you know, and what are they doing? What, what are they feeding themselves uh, so they're not acting act out? aggressively you know a lot of times when the body is in a disease state and it's not getting us proper nutrition it's it's going to be in a very volatile uh, experience you know what i'm saying and that can translate how it shows up externally so and we see it you know um ultimately in hip-hop culture we have lost a lot of powerful artists for health disparities yes. uh big pun we lost him uh, uh obesity we lost heavy d from a heart attack nate yeah. dog heart attack uh boy uh, um, yeah, we will. Yeah, Let's go I mean, it just goes on and on. Yeah. I mean, it's just sad. I mean, the Guru, uh, we lost, Man. uh, we lost, uh, Bernie like, Mac. I mean, dog, if we're talking, five you dog, know. but you know, he, 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 you know, liver, liver, liver failure. We lost mm. a JT liver failure. It, it, these none of these brothers were 50 years old, mm -hmm. so you know, um, one mm. of my, you know, besides helping the G's organize. You know, um, I'm known as the hip hop medicine man because that's that's the acronym, not that's the affirmation that I stand on as far as being a hip hop artist and a leader to stand on health and wellness because nothing if we don't you know take back the the sovereignty of our, how we operating holistically, mind, body, and spirit, optimal wellness, then we're subjected to the chaos of oppression and oppressing each other. You know, and so writing the book, the remedy. Um, creating a, a, a pathway for those that want to be plant-based, that want to learn how to begin the process to take back their power through holistic health. You know, that's that's my book, The Remedy, uh, that inspired me also to form uh, my first plant-based supplement company with my, my my brother, Ali the Great, and my cousin, Chris Kazi Roll. We have a, a wellness supplement company called Super Mega Foods, um, cell, cellular nutrition, um, building muscle, Plant, do plant-based nutrition. Uh, we have a, a we just released a new um, immunity uh, formula for those that are dealing with the COVID nineteen atmosphere. Please give out that I, website because I want to contribute somehow. S U P A Mega Foods dot com. Super Mega Foods. S U P A Mega Foods dot com is the name of the site. And um, again, for those that really want high level um, plant-based nutrition products, mm -hmm. if you're trying to gain weight. Um, holistically without animal products. We have the Super Mega Protein, um, which is moringa, maca root, pea protein, pumpkin protein, sprouted brown rice protein, corella. 
So if you really want to do that in a powerful way, uh, you can do that. If you really want to detox from the heavy metals in the atmosphere and just to get the body back on a cellular level, you have the super mega greens superfoods, which is chlorophyll based, the alfalfa, the dandelion, the corella, the spirulina, the wheatgrass. And if you really want to get your immune system even much more stronger in this atmosphere, we have the super mega immunity mix, uh, which is an elixir, one or two drops under the tongue, which is echinacea, elderberry, um, reishi, uh, mushroom, olive leaf. You know, these are powerful immune function um, remedies that help to keep the body in a really balanced homeostasis environment. So that's what that's my mission, unify the hood and heal the hood or heal the hood, unify the hood. And the way you flip it, I feel I've always felt that affirmation is the full conversation. You know, if you talk about peace and 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 and, and ending conflict disparity amongst brothers and sisters through violence, you also have to talk about the internal violence that we put our emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual selves in. You know, and making sure we have the proper nutrition, body, mind, and spirit to aid what we're doing externally. So we're saying peace externally with another human being. We have to also be working for internal peace with ourselves. Damn. Supernova Slum, it's been a pleasure. This has been one of my favorite interviews that I've had in a long time. And look, anybody can look back at my show. I don't say that often. This was really uh, very educational. And I appreciate your time, man. And I encourage everybody to go out to supamegafoods.com and support this brother as much as you can check out his youtube channel supernova slum i would love to chat with you in the future and see if we can build together my man yes appreciate you brother you have a great night all right thank you for you fam thank peace, you man appreciate it. peace it's like the message has been lost how much money does a black life cost every time we kill another brother we keep in people employed who profit when we kill another how can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame shit let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying better be strapped for the peace they talking about defunding police Gun stores sold out for six weeks I'm smelling something in the air And it reeks Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week Tell me what we gonna do Just listen, it's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. of my skin this current situation got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin on the different type of vibe so many ready for change fist in the atmosphere sick and tired of the games being played body slain ain't no fucks given only justification does i fit the description trapped in the system just another digit in a private prison trying to keep the optimism it's telling me to the core how many more we gonna lose we got the right to live a life without you and me know what we do enlighten the youth feed the knowledge give them tools running the race coming out of my shoe taking it all the way back to my roots 
It's a different time, we ain't going forward. You see, there's power in numbers, keep on ignoring. You see us coming together, together we growing. They feel the changing that's coming, you better know. I'm in the